how's it going everyone so iphone 15 is finally here it was announced of course on tuesday the 12th of september on apple's special event so in this video i'll take you through all of the new features on the iphone 15 the new colors the pricing and i'll let you know if you should consider upgrading or not and if you want to upgrade i'll also give you some updates on pre-order dates so let us start with the regular iphone 15 and the iphone 15 plus so the standard iphone 15 has got a slightly revamped design that has a color infused back glass making it look more durable and more premium and of course one of the most interesting features is dynamic island which previously you could only get on the iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max so now regular iphone is going to include that fluid and dynamic notch which is useful for alerts notifications music controls live scores and more stuff it also has a super retina xdr display that has oled technology and it also support dolby vision which should be good for movie experience it also has a 2000 nit brightness and in terms of the screen size nothing has changed the standard iphone 15 is going to come with a 6.1 inch display while the iphone 15 plus is going to come with a 6.7 inch display and in terms of new colors on the iphone 15 we have pink yellow green blue and black and as part of the build quality and the revamped design iphone 15 has a ceramic shield which is tougher than any smartphone class out there on the market and another win for the regular iPhone is a 48 megapixel main camera that previously was reserved for the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. So the camera system overall is a revamped camera system that is going to come with a much better focal length and other new features that will obviously improve picture quality. Another new big feature on the camera is something called new generation portraits, which as the name states, it takes better and more improved portrait images. And also as part of the improvement, the iPhone 15 will take better pictures in low light. And in addition, the regular iPhone 15 will now include 4K cinematic, something that I've been waiting for for a while now. And in terms of performance, the iPhone 15 is going to come with an A16 Bionic chip, which again was introduced by the iPhone 14 Pro. So this is some pro performance we are talking about here, which has a better GPU, which is going to improve mobile gaming experience. Another interesting feature on the iPhone 15 is a new ultra wide band, which is going to enable precise location, which is going to be useful on Find My. So this would be pretty useful for precision finding. And one of the biggest announcement was the introduction of USB-C on iPhone 15 which is going to enable better charging, file transfer, and data transfer. This means you can now use the same cable to charge all of your devices, including your Mac, your iPad, and your iPhone, and also your AirPods. And also you can now charge your AirPods using your iPhone by using the same USB-C cable. Other updates included new MagSafe accessories, including also fine woven accessories, which are going to replace leather accessories. So Apple won't be manufacturing any leather items anymore. So I'm pretty excited about this one because I was not happy with the quality on the silicone cases. So hopefully the fine woven is going to be a much better quality. So in terms of the pricing, standard iPhone 15 will start from $799 and iPhone 15 plus will start from $899. So what does this mean for us in South Africa? Well, my estimate is that for the standard iPhone 15, you are looking at around 20,000 rands. And then for the iPhone 15 plus, you are looking at around 22,999. So that is 23,000 rands. This is my guess based off the current prices. And now let us move on to the Pro models, the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And the iPhone 15 Pro is going to come with a new material which is titanium, which looks pretty good and it's sleek, more premium. I love it. The titanium material is light, but it's also durable and it's also tough. iPhone 15 Pro also comes with the thinnest bodies ever on an iPhone. Overall, I'm happy with the design. I love it. Even though we won't have the gold color anymore, as you'll see later on, 
but this natural titanium color looks good and in terms of the size we still have the same 6.1 inch for the iphone 15 pro and then 6.7 inch for the iphone 15 pro max and in terms of colors the iphone 15 pro has four shades of titanium colors starting with black titanium and then we have white titanium and then my two favorites that is the blue titanium and the natural titanium and another new feature on the iphone 15 pro is an action button which is going to replace the mute button you can customize your action button with features such as the camera voice recorder workouts alarm flashlight and other customizable shortcuts and in terms of performance the iphone 15 pro comes with a new a17 pro chip and according to apple it is the fastest mobile cpu it also has a faster gpu which obviously is going to be good for gaming for mobile gaming and it also has now ray tracing so ray tracing is good for lighting shadows reflections and more in video games and again apple claims that the iphone 15 pro is the best mobile gaming device and of course the iphone 15 pro comes with a new and improved camera system that takes sharper images and also improved next gen portraits including better picture quality in low light situations and one of the big announcements on the iphone 15 pro was the five times optical zoom at 120 millimeter focal length which will allow for improved zoom this is a type of a lens that you would find in dslrs the iphone 15 pro camera can also take special videos which you can share with vision pro users so that they can experience the moment as you experienced it in real life and in terms of pricing iphone 15 pro will start at 999 and the iphone 15 pro max will start at 11.99 so what does this mean again for south african pricing my guess is iPhone 15 Pro will start at around 29,500. Meanwhile, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which starts from 256 gig, will start from 32,000 rands. Now, in terms of the new iPhone lineup, we have iPhone SE, iPhone 13, iPhone 14, iPhone 15, and then iPhone 15 Pro. So yes, as expected, iPhone 14 Pro Max and iPhone 14 Pro are discontinued. And now onto the big question, should you consider upgrading to the iPhone 15? Well, that depends. It depends mainly on what iPhone are you using currently and what do you usually use your iPhone for. So if you use iPhone 11 and below, the upgrade will basically make sense for you. It will be a big upgrade for you. If you use iPhone 14 Pro or iPhone 14 Pro Max, I don't think you have to upgrade now. You don't necessarily have to upgrade unless if you have a specific feature that you are looking for on the iphone 15. but in terms of relevance and capabilities the iphone 14 pro and the iphone 14 pro max they are still good enough and i think this is another reason why apple decided to discontinue the iphone 14 pro and the 14 pro max because they know that there will be that issue there where people don't want to buy the iphone 15 they instead buy iphone 14 pro so that they can save but if you're a content creator and you take a lot of photos and videos and you move files around from your iPhone to your Mac, from the Mac to the iPhone or to other devices, then the upgrade will make sense for you because you benefit a lot from the new camera systems, which also offer different file formats and you'll also benefit from the new USB 3. And that is on the iPhone 15 Pro. If you use the regular iPhone 13 and the iPhone 14, the upgrade will only make sense for you if you like features such as Dynamic Island and USB-C. And lastly, if you use iPhone 13 Pro Max, you don't necessarily have to upgrade as well, unless if you are also a content creator and you use all of the features that I mentioned a lot, that you move stuff around and you also take a lot of photos and videos as well. But if you are just a regular user and you're using iPhone 13 Pro Max, you don't necessarily have to upgrade. And now for those who say, I can hear what you're saying, but I don't care what you have to say, I'm still going to upgrade anyway. Well, pre-orders are going to open on Friday, the 22nd of September. That is at iStore, but usually most stores usually open pre-orders on the same day. Then the phones will be available on the 29th of September. 
so for those who want to buy the iphone 14 pro and the 14 pro max you better make sure that you buy your phone before the end of september because there is a chance that you might not see these phones anywhere on the stores once the iphone 15 has landed in store but the regular iphone 14 will still be available and that is it that is all the updates on the iphone 15 so let me know in the comments if you'll be upgrading and let me know which iphone you are upgrading from and if you like this kind of content of course and if you want to stay updated with apple products and iphones be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like i'll catch you on the next video